used to glorify that life. That baller, that gangster, that hustler. I grew up with all those visions in my head. Then I went to the penitentiary and I saw how fucking flawed it is. How flawed all that pussy shit is. I get a message every day from someone I was busted with. Hey, so-and-so wants me to send you a message. And the person's just lit, just high. It's so fucking weak. It's the same fucking thing as that fat dude walking around the gym every day. You know he wants to be jacked. You know that pussy-ass prison motherfucking mentality have a motherfucker wants a good life, wants love. Wants everything positive and peaceful. Nobody wants the chaos. Negativity is just fucking easy, bitch. Getting a positive outcome and positive attention takes actual effort, motherfucker. That shit's what's hard. You know the most gangster thing I ever did? The most gangster thing I ever did was turn my fucking life around. You get me? You understand this motherfucker? Are you paying attention, baby girl? I was on the yard telling people stories of popping bottles making millions, driving rovers, living in high rises before I went to prison, telling them those stories on the yard before I went to prison. And none of these motherfuckers had stories like that. They thought it was just made up. Why the hell would you spend 400 on a buck? We had money, motherfucker, you low level scumbag fuck. That's the difference because now, now I got out and I got to show them that everything was just a lead up to the positive acts. Whatever you're drawn to is in your, anything you're drawn to in life, positive or negative, is inseparably connected to your purpose. I was meant, I was meant to be drawn to Scarface, Goodfellas, fucking gangster ass movies, hustling, slanging, fucking getting blasted up, carrying straps, moving weight, doing all the shit. I was drawn to that to then go on this hero's journey to learn how flawed that is and bring the wisdom back out to you, back out here. And that's what I'm trying to show everybody. The only thing that separated me was my emotional connection to my vision. So I'm sitting there on the yard, walking the yard, spinning laps, telling my homeboy, when I get back out, when I get back out, when I get back out, they need me. My people need me. My town needs me. I love my city. I'm going to show up for them every day. What do you tell yourself all day? How emotionally connected are you to your vision? Plenty bitches and cupcakes and pussy fucking punk motherfuckers in the comments. Man, why do you cuss so much? Why are you so turned up? Maybe you should get more turned up, homie. Maybe you should be more attached to your vision, baby girl. Maybe you should fucking have a deeper connection, more commitment, more intensity towards what you're creating. Because what you're doing ain't working, homeboy. Saw your profile. Don't want to be in your position, big dog. You get me? I was always just almost in tears to where my emotional connection to this vision that I've created today that I manifested out of thin fucking air left me fearless. The emotional state I get into when I think about my wife, my son, what I'm creating, what I'll get up every day for, leaves me fucking fearless. A lot of you motherfuckers are afraid that if you put in all this work, it's not going to amount to nothing. Motherfucker. (laughs) The amount of regret, everything's a risk. Putting in the work and not getting your outcome's a risk. But man, when you get that bill, when you get that receipt from regret the risk that it takes to even not make the move to not do anything the most fucking the most fucking expensive mindset on this planet is that negative mindset that negativity eats you alive and as i left the penitentiary all these gangsters ballers murderers hustlers killers bad motherfuckers i look in every one of their eyes and like i told you before i said watch this i'm about to be the hardest motherfucker We all did stupid shit we cried about, thought we were hard. I'm about to do what's really hard, motherfucker. Hold my word every fucking day till the day I die to show you that's what sets you apart nowadays. In a world full of the weak, if you just hold your fucking word, 
It sets you apart times a fucking million. Everybody is just suffering from selfishness. You're suffering from your selfish desires. You make it a few weeks and then you're, you deserve this. You deserve this. You deserve to create the life of your dreams for your people. Once you realize your selfish, your selfish desires, never please. Like when you exceed the bounds of moderation, the greatest pleasure cease to please. They don't do fucking anything anymore. So when it comes to the food, the drink, the instant gratification, all these things, you're chasing something that's never fucking there. So as I left the penitentiary, everybody had their mind made up, but a lot of them saw the habits. So they're like, he's going to do it. I watched him do it every day. That's the secret. We watch you do it every day. So when you say you're going to do the next thing, we're going to watch you do that too. When you have fear attached to any of this, that's the problem. You just operate, learn to operate from love in the moment. Success in your daily habit comes from positive future projection. I always project myself to tomorrow, the night before. I'm projecting myself to 2.45 when I have to get up in a positive way. I'm saying nothing can stop you. You ain't gonna be stopped again. And I'm validating myself with my ability to not fucking stop myself. Cause I know that's what's keeping you guys from where you wanna go. The second you learn to positively project yourself into the future for the next day, a monotonous day, but you set the stage. This is your mind. These are your thoughts. Why are you destroying yourself and deterring yourself from everything that you want and desire? You really want the outcome, but you sabotage yourself with a negative future projection that it's gonna be so boring tomorrow. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Eat the same food, do the same workout, do all the same shit? Oh, fuck that. That's what works, motherfucker. Learn to shift your mindset to positively project yourself into the next day and the steps that need to be done and speak about them correctly, you stupid motherfucker. Our definitions are what fuck us. You guys have defined everything that's best for you as negative. That's a weak mindset. Mindset training is coupling difficult tasks to then get your result. When you learn to look at discomfort as progression, I've coupled, I've linked in my mind discomfort with progression. And I've linked in my mind comfort with regression. If I'm sitting there enjoying it too much, I know what's coming next. A back step, bitch. Learn to not take the back steps in this life at the level you're at. It's removal. It's unlearning. You guys think you're going to add a workout to your life? How about take away your vices first? Everything's removal. What needs to be removed from your life is told to you in the mirror through your conscience. Wake the fuck up and let's go.